Hello Aquarius, this is going to be your October 8th through the 14th reading. I've already pre-shuffled the cards for you. I'd like to take a moment to say how much I appreciate those of you that have subscribed to the channel and that have been liking, commenting, and sharing these videos. I truly appreciate you. And uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, would love for you to do so. Here in the next day or two, I'm going to be putting up some information on how you can get a personal reading. I've been getting some queries on that, so keep an eye out. So this is our Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What to avoid and what to embrace. Let's see what we've got. So for Monday, we have the Five of Pentacles. Tuesday, the Three of Pentacles. Wednesday, the Two of Swords. Thursday, Two of Cups, Ten of Wands for Friday, Saturday, The Hanged Man, Sunday, The Magician. Um, I haven't been paying attention. Hope you could see the cards. The Lovers, we have advice on what to avoid here. Advice on what to embrace is going to come from the Five of Wands. Okay, Aquarius, what we've got here, the Five of Pentacles, that's that feeling of, of, you know, kind of feeling helpless and trapped. And uh, might be having some money burdens. Um, that's possible on Monday, so keep an eye on your wallet on Monday. Try not to spend too much. Um, you may need to take a break. You may need to take a break. You may be having trouble seeing things clearly because you've been working so much. And um, you may just need to take a little bit of a break and, and spend some time with family. But do keep in mind, you very well, this, this feeling of helplessness could be related to your job. I'm, I'm feeling really strongly that it is. And so Aquarius, whatever that job is, whether it's a creative endeavor or if it's an actual, you know, work situation or work opportunity, something is making you feel a sense of loss and a sense of suffocation. You feel suffocated. Is somebody trying to squash your enthusiasm? You know, it's, it's, it's the creative, the creative types that, you know, make our world so bright but a lot of times we you know when we have creative types they tend to have very conflicted you know mental thoughts which we see here on Wednesday for you Aquarius and um, it's very possible that somebody's somebody's you know verbally making you feel inadequate making you feel suffocated making you feel as if they think you can't do anything right or that you can't, you're not capable. So just be cautious not to fall into the into those energies on Monday, Aquarius. Three of Pentacles has you working with others, working hard on a project on Tuesday. On Wednesday is when you get into your own head and you start feeling very guarded, very vulnerable. You don't want to be vulnerable with people. And, um, you know, you become very, very closed off to others. So on Wednesday, you may want to do something to get you out of that mental funk. On Thursday, it looks like you very well could either be, you know, spending some time with a loved one or meeting somebody new that could be a potential, a potential um, life partner. Could be a potential soulmate. On Friday, you're going to be burdened. You're going to feel like you can't carry anymore, but you're at the end of it. It's the Ten of Wands. Things can only get better from here. But you may need to lighten the load by delegating some responsibilities to other people or by saying no to those that are demanding your time and attention. Saturday, you have the Hangman. That tells you just sit tight, let things play out, and wait and find out. Just surrender to the circumstances, basically. 
Surrender to the circumstances that are going on in your life on Saturday. Just kind of go with the flow and just wait until you have given some clarity in your life. Sunday looks like you could be working on some manifestation. Maybe there's something that you're trying to bring about in your life through thought or action. Looks like that might be your primary focus on Sunday. Now what to avoid with the lovers. I feel that um, with the lovers card, what pr is the thing that you should primarily avoid for the week is feeling as if, you know, with the lovers, they have a tendency to want to be around each other 24 seven. And that's not really healthy for a relationship. And so if you are in a committed relationship, I think that, that your, your advice here from this card is that, you know, you need to avoid that kind of, you know, super clingy, claustrophobic, codependent, you know, energy that we sometimes see with the lover's card. You need to let your partner have some space too, and they need to let you have some space also. With the Five of Wands being in our advice on what to embrace for the week, hmm. that what what it's saying to me is that you really need to keep an open mind. And you need to listen to people because this is about fighting, you know, like petty arguments, not like true fights, just petty arguments. And so to avoid that, I think that you need to um, stop and listen, Aquarius. Stop and listen and recognize that, you know, you can avoid these arguments if you work together. And we do, you know, we have working together here on Tuesday. So I'm not sure what that's going to relate to you for you this week, but stop and listen. Okay, Aquarius. October 8th through the 14th, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius. There we go. Children, I'm going to get one more because that doesn't always apply to everybody. That one hopped. Okay. Aquarius, for those of you that are concerned about something related to your children, um, this says children know that your children are protected. And for those of you that are not dealing with a child-related issue, it says get ready for positive change. You're moving forward, Aquarius. It's absolutely beautiful. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so so that we can stay connected going forward. Um, keep an eye out for information on personal readings, and I'll talk to you again soon.